हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम अगेन टू योर चैनल लर्न डेटा विद प्रांजल इन दिस वीडियो आई एल एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू इंटरप्रेट द कंफ्यूजन मैट्रिक्स व्हेन मैट्रिक्स इज नॉट जस्ट टू क्रॉस टू बट एन क्रॉस एन आई एल एक्सप्लेन हाउ द वेरियस पैरामीटर्स रिलेटेड टू द कंफ्यूजन मैट्रिक्स आर कैलकुलेटेड सो वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड एंड इफ दिस इज योर फर्स्ट विजिट टू दिस चैनल प्लीज क्लिक ऑन द सब्सक्राइब बटन सो दैट यू डू नॉट मिस एनी ऑफ द नॉलेज वीडियोज ऑन द डेटा साइंस Let's start with a confusion matrix. So I have already created a three by three confusion matrix. So if you look from the top to down, you see only your actual values. So actual number of records present for class A are your 59 plus 9 plus 5. Actual number of records for class B are 6 plus 49 plus 7. Actual number of records for C are 8, 4, and 50. Now if I hide this thing and I see from left to right, I see my predicted values. So predicted values for A are 55 plus 6 plus 8. For B, predicted values are 9 plus 49 plus 4. For C, the predicted values are 5, 7, and 50. Your true A. So true A is my 55 because my prediction these 55 belong to A and have been marked under B. Your A. True B is your 49. These 49 observations belong to B and marked under your B. True C is your 50. What is your false A? False A is 6 plus 8. Why I am saying 6 plus 8? Because these six observations do not actually belong to A, but falsely they have been marked under as your A. so this becomes your false a and again this becomes your false a right because this six actually belong to b but falsely marked under your a similarly your false b would be the false b would be your judged right so that would be 9 plus 4 9 plus 4 false c would be uh, and what would be my accuracy my accuracy i always know that sum of my diagonal elements so 55 plus 49 plus 50 divided by everything so my accuracy would be 55 plus 49 plus 50 why i am selecting the diagonal element because for these elements my actual and prediction values are same so formula for accuracy would be that to my true values Divided by your all the values. My true values divided by your all the values. So divided by your whole sum. Fifty-five plus six plus eight plus nine. This becomes your accuracy. Now let's calculate our precision. so i'll have my three precision values i'll have precision for a precision for b and precision for c precision for a so what's the formula for precision so precision for a would be true a divided by your true a plus false and i and i have already calculated my true a values true a value is 55 so 55 divided by your 55 plus false a my false a is 6 plus 8 similarly i can calculate the precision for b as if for precision for b is your true b divided by your true b plus false b so this will come out to be your what is my true b my true b is 49 so 49 divided by your 49 plus false b my false b is 9 plus 2 similarly i can calculate the precision for c so precision for c would be true c Right, but true C plus false C. I know. So my true C value is nothing but your this 
so 50 divided by your 50 plus false c is your 5 plus so 5 plus seven. so this becomes your precision let's calculate our specificity for a like your precision we will have three different specificity separately for your a b and c so specificity for your a would be t and a divided by your t and a plus your false a now what is t and a total negative total negative values of a so all the values which do not belong to a in either way so for example your t and a would be your 49 plus 4 plus 7 plus 50 why because these four values have nothing to with nothing to do with your a neither from your actual side neither from the predicted side for example this 49 this bill actually belong to b marked under your b this four belong to c marked under b so nothing to do with your a similarly your seven belong to b marked under c again nothing to do with your a this 50 actually belong to c but marked under your and uh, actually belong to c and marked under your c but this eight i cannot say is as tna because though it doesn't actually belong to a but it has been marked under a so your t and a values would be 49 plus 4 plus 7 plus 50 divided by the same thing 49 plus 4 plus 7 plus 50 and i already know my false a value my false a values are 6 plus 8 so this becomes my specificity of let's find the specificity of your of our b so i'll copy this thing for the quick thing specificity for b would be again the formula remains the same but let's find the t and b my t and b would be i'll exclude this row and i'll exclude this column so my t and b for b would be 55 plus 8 plus 5 plus 50 because this and this has something to do with your b divided by your same thing 55 plus 8 plus 5 plus 50 plus i already know my false values of b my false values of b are 9 plus 4 so this comes out to be my specificity of my b Let's quickly find the specificity of my C. My T and C would be this thing, these four values. Why? Because these four values have nothing to do with C, neither from your actual side nor from your predicted side. So my T and C comes out to be 55 plus 6 plus 9 plus 49. I'll put them inside a bracket. And I will divide them by the same thing 55 plus 6 plus 9 plus 49 plus FC. My FC is 5 plus 7. So, 5 plus 7. so this becomes my specificity of my A. So I have calculated my true values of A, true value of B, true value of C, false A, false B, false C, precision of A, precision of B, precision of C specificity of a b and c so let's find the recall values also so, I say, so my recall values would be i can say something like this so recall the another names for the recall can be your sensitivity or tpr so this would would be your as i can say that it would be your t, true a divided by your total true a divided by your total a what is my true a true a is my 55 so i'll say 55 divided by your total a my total a is nothing but your 55 plus 9 plus 
satisfy so this becomes my true a let's find the recall or sensitivity or tp so this would be my tb total values of b or the true values of b divided by your total values of b so my true values of b are 49 so 49 divided by total of b so this would be my 49 divided by your total what is my total b my total b is your 6 plus 49 plus 7 Why these are my total values? Because if I look from the top, I'll see that six plus forty-nine plus seven belong to your B. Similarly, I can calculate my C values. We call value T divided by your fifty plus four plus eight. So this becomes my recall for C. Now I can find the F1 scores. So I'll get three F1 score and not one F1 score. I'll get the F1 score for A, F1 score for B, and F1 score for C. So, what is my F1 score for A? F1 score is nothing but your harmonic mean between your precision and recall. I already know my recall value for A. I know my precision value for A. So, I can apply two into precision into recall divided by precision plus recall. So, I can find my F1 A similarly, and then I can find my F1 B also. Why? I know my precision value of B. I know my recall value of B, so I can find my F1 B also. Similarly, I can find my F1 C value. For finding F1 C value, I'll use my recall C and precision C. So we have seen what is my true A, true B, true C, false A, B, C. What would be my accuracy? So we have already seen what would be my accuracy. And what would be my precision? A, B, A precision. What would be my recall? And then, if you apply your F1 score formula, you can easily get your F1 score. So this brings to the end of our knowledge video. In this video, we have seen how to analyze all the parameters related to our confusion matrix when my confusion matrix is n cross n. I hope I have cleared all the confusion related to this n cross n confusion matrix. and you would be comfortable to interpret all the parameters related to the confusion matrix before i end the same appeal guys if you have not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe the channel so that you do not miss any of my knowledge videos till that time happy learning